name's Paul Diaz. I am uh, the camera and video tech here on set. I build and set all the cameras um, for each scene for our operators here. I also set up the video villages for uh, the producers and executives to monitor what's going around on set. Prior to Teradek, when we built our uh, video villages, um, we would do it all hardwired, hardline. I'd carry hundreds of feet of BNC, um, the multiple field monitors, and set them up, sometimes 13, because we'll have 13 cameras going at a time. That's what made hardwired uh, video villages kind of a hassle. Now we have the Teradek Cube system. We have one for each of our cameras, and it allows us to be way more mobile. We can be anywhere in a building, and be able to monitor what's going on. No cables, so set up a video village is as easy as handing a producer an iPad and um, having them watch whichever camera they choose. This is our basic setup. It's an F800 camera. We put the cube on top. We could have them either in master mode or infrastructure. Um, that way we could enable multi-view hand an iPad over to the uh, producer or whoever needs to see what's going on, and they could easily just select whichever camera they wish to see, and then they're watching what's going on. Uh, easy as that. If they've used an iPad before, and they could navigate, you know, say YouTube or any other video sharing site, it's as easy as tapping on what stream they want to watch. Um, aside from the camera department using the Cube, um, audio guys, um, especially if you're using boom mics, it's very helpful. Um, they bring their iPod Touch and they leave it inside of their mixing bag. They could see if they have boom shadow or any other issues without having to interrupt a shot. The first time I set it up and they asked for a video village and I walked out and distributed iPads, um, the whole wow thing was, you know, now I'm holding the scene in my hand and they're free to walk around. They're just like, well, I don't have to hover around a monitor. They could go off and be out of the way. I see this moving into other shows, especially in reality. There's so many different types. I know some of them are still, you know, wiring in their video village and they could be in a jungle or they could be, you know, doing action sports outside where um, just running cable, you know, sometimes is not an option. This is a great tool for shows like that. This kind of frees up everybody to actually do their job better, um, to be involved of the actual shot. You know, a story producer could actually stay with the camera, with the talent, and direct what's going on.